Hey, what's going on guys? This is Brian from Quantum Motor Works bringing you a video on this 2021 Harley Davidson trike. Uh, we're doing a dry belt replacement. Uh, my best guess is the customer sucked up some dirt, rock, or pebbles into the dry belt and it just totally ate it up. Um, apologize for the video being so late at night, but it was pretty hot today. But as you can see, it's missing quite a bit of the teeth. So, um, pretty much to get it out, um, I couldn't find any other videos on YouTube. So I think I'd just maybe show you guys, but uh, gotta be familiar with Harleys. That'd be best working on this thing. Uh, you gotta get the primary cover off to this point right here. Um, then you gotta take off the wheels, take off the axles. Axles are pretty easy. Take off these four bolts. The whole axle assembly slides out. Take off the rotors, uh, mid pipe on the exhaust. And once you get in there, um, once you get to that point, you do have to remove the starter motor, or not starter, the reverse motor, um, and it's bracket. You have to remove the reverse motor first, then the bracket, and then uh, these clamps right here holding the rear differential. As you can see, I got those. Got the uh, diff loose. So, um, pretty much now, what I'm going to do is remove the belt, uh, put a new one on, and it's pretty much it. That's it's a lot of work. Um, I got about 12 hours into it right now. Um, this is the latest model. So, um, I don't do these all the time. I do work on Harleys. I've replaced dry belts on, you know, all sorts of Harleys, uh, but never on a trike. So, first time, it's a lot of work. Uh, I'll probably have about 15, 16 hours into this thing. Um, that's what it takes. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, though. Yeah, very intimidating um, most of the work I did was on this side of the bike um, I used two jacks to support the bike underneath the chassis um, then two jack stands uh, to support the rear axle and then I use the jack stand you know to kind of move it around or um, I'm gonna say move it around but to lift it up initially and I also used it I thought I could pull out the rear uh, differential but it looks like it's I don't know uh, I think the swing arm might have to get pushed back a little bit more in order to slip it out so what I might try to do is uh, see if I can shimmy it off around and then do the same thing shimmy the new one on and then once you do that I just kind of slipped it through the swing arm there uh, there's enough space probably about a solid inch you just kind of uh, twist the belt a little bit and slide it in and it goes right in no problem uh that's pretty much it uh it's definitely a lot of work um i wasn't able to use too much power tools uh inside with these clearances here um maybe if i had like more compact like a better electric impact or a better air gun maybe i could have removed most of this stuff um, but most of it had to be by hand with wrenches due to clearance and it was very uh, laborious, very, very tiring, uh, very time consuming. So it's pretty much it. Uh, front sprocket looks good. Uh, rear sprocket does have a little bit of uh, nicking as you can see there, but it is what it is. Customer just wants to put a new belt on. So we're going to go ahead and put a new belt on and rock and roll. So let's see what happens. Just want to let you guys know. Uh, this might be the only like trike dry belt replacement video. But uh, if you felt like doing it yourself, um, 
this is what you're up against. It's a pretty serious job. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, hit those comment boxes. Give this video a like. And uh, stay tuned for the next one.